tales of our endeavors proliferate. This is Guthron, also known as Glitch on the Pixel Sharks team. And we're going to do a little bit of writing today as soon as I get everything set up. Just opening a few things here as we speak. I'm actually going to be continuing a project that I have started previously. I'm basically just going to use this online site where I've been writing to, just to make it a little more visually appealing. Just working out a few of the kinks.
There we go. Sorry, I'm just working out something with the site. It's one of those beta sites. Which unfortunately means it makes it a little more difficult to keep the access going. Working on some sync issues. Let me get this thing out of here so you guys can see it. I'm using Scrivener to do most of my writing for my actual stories. I just need to add it in. It was easy enough. And I will increase the magnification. It's a little easier for you to see exactly what it is I'm writing. making adjustments on the fly. part of capturing a window is it tends to not want to cooperate when you want to resize it.
unfortunately the YouTube channel I have is, is not currently connected to the overlay I have. I'm listening to... Post it here in the Twitter. There we go. So I can see it. Just play the music. So that's that's the uh, playlist you're listening. It's nice because it's no it's non copyright music. But I already listened to the song, so I'm jumping ahead. Actually, on this song here, Arrival in Cadmium. Now, how do I? Ah, here it is. That should be much easier for you guys to see. There we go. So now you can see what I'm writing. Just move myself over here. There we go. Let's see, let's pick up where I left off. I'm from an old school type of writing, so I still actually, just out of habit, keep hitting the space bar twice after sentences. In most editing houses now, they tend to just, they tend to weed that out a little. Uh, it's not that either of them are necessarily wrong, it's just that uh, modern publishing, they tend to just remove the extra What am I doing here? Yes, I need him to hit the trees.
so. So basically, right now I am okay, so right now I am continuing a story that I've been working on for a while now. This is actually the third in a series. The first one is already published. Pardon me. The second one is done and in the hands of the publisher. This is the third one. You can see I'm about I'm getting ready to start seven chapters. I am about sixteen thousand words in. Yeah. Now the previous two books ended up coming in around a hundred and fifty thousand, but I don't want to I don't want to hit that level with this one. I, I'm actually trying to get it under a hundred k. So, with my goal being that, I'm about 15% of the way through. Um, this story goes back and tells, establishes a lot of the backstory for what is the world that's set up in the first two stories. And currently, the one of the, one of the protagonists has appeared somewhere that he did not realize he could appear at. And there were people there that, that oops, sorry people there that surprised him and it sent him into a panic and he tr and he basically just tried to escape without really thinking about where he was or what was going on and that resulted in him uh, jumping out a window he has a bit of technology that helps him fall gracefully I guess it's a good way to explain it uh, that technology is explained in great deal detail in the first book which is Rise, which you can get. Oh, not that one. Sorry, for some reason, my text is going all weird. I'm going to click send it back. So you can tell. There we go. Now I can see it better. So, that's where you can pick up the first book, and that technology that he has is explained in that one. I highly recommend the Audible version. I didn't have any any input input on the production and the guy that did it did a top-notch job so where I the scene I was just finishing he was plummeting out of the window and he doesn't know what things like trees are because trees don't exist in in the world he lives in and that and the, br the bright light from the sky made it hard for him to see gave him a it was so bright it gave him a headache which meant he couldn't focus and he fell through the trees and is now unconscious the decision i have to make now is do i want to continue focusing on his story or do i want to actually keep inserting because the way the story is being told is they are being interviewed by someone at some point it's not established yet in the story if it's during or after um, it is assumed at this point that it is after because that's all the information we have so these people are telling the story from their points of view to this scribe who's then transcribing it and putting it into the form that becomes the stories that you're reading so I've been alternating back and forth between telling the story of one of the antagonists and want and the protagonist here which I'm not sure how well you can see the text over here on this side of the screen the side that's shifting right now I'm over there I can't, can't but there's basically six seven six chapters completed and each scene that like this each scene at the top has a number and then a letter and that just helps me know which scene is first in the chapter and which character is the one telling the story so if it's an L it's the scribe log one and if it's a Q was in the one we just finished scene four letter Q and it's the main character Quentin talking uh, the other letter 
is one of the other characters in the story, and I'm leaving it ambiguous right now for those that are actually re have actually read through the first book because that letter isn't going to tell them anything because there are multiple characters with that letter in the story. So yeah, for those of you who plan on reading it, there you might see some spoilers in here. We shall see. I just need to decide. This scene, they watched him escape. Contemplating what they would do next. Yeah, I think I'll open with the scene with theirs. So I do end up with a lot of duplicate titles, so because you get it's each chapter has this new letter, um, but I'm compiling it this way. I'm doing it this. Oops, sorry. I'm doing it this way because later Scrivener will allow me to compile these together into chapters. If I create them by scenes, and then I'll. It won't. I won't have. It won't be as confusing. For me, when I wrote. The first two, I wrote them in another piece of software, where I could sync to the to the cloud. This, this is before I, they made it Scrivener app on the iOS, because I do most of my writing on this my this new iPad, and then I do the editing on here. But occasionally, I'll write where I am right here, like what I want you guys to be able to see. Um, when I did it originally, I had to number and name the scenes so that I would remember which order they came in. And then later I grouped them into chapters, and it became quite confusing sometimes. So in Scrivener, I don't have to worry about that as much because when I go to compile later, I'll remove this extra scenes folder right there that I just closed. Um, I will it, will, it will automatically compile them into s the, all the scenes into a chapter. So all I really need to do is make sure at the top of the document, I put something at the top of this. I put something that denotes this is a this is this person's scene, or if I want to do that. And if it's a chapter with multiple scenes, I have to make sure that the very end has centered a pound key, so that the when the publisher is going through and the editor is going through doing putting through the document they'll know that this is a scene break um, in rise they actually replaced all of these with a uh, small small circle and oh that's why my internet's been acting weird <laughs> steam's been downloading fallout that explains it well that's finally done thought i put that on pause apparently i didn't I'm planning on playing that for the extra life event. So, all right. So, for this new chapter, I'm going to start with the other point of view that's being told in the story so far. Um, there's going to be a lot more mixing of points of view in this story than there were in Rise, where you got a lo huge chunk of the one main character and then a huge chunk of another main character, and then it was kind of them together with moments and climactic scenes where they would jump back and forth that tends to be the same pattern that that the sequel fall follows um, with a couple new points of view added in this story it's going to be the same way because there's there's ki there's critical things going on elsewhere in the story other than our protagonist that that you need to know in order for all of the questions to start being answered so i had to i had to bring in another point of view to give the scribe a view into that side of it because when i wrote that when i when i imagine these scenes i do it to music and i don't care about the perspective i just know whose whose scenes are what so when you see it like you would say in a movie or a tv series you know whose scene it is because you're seeing it from their perspective the and and if it's being narrated as may you know in some examples you'll hear their voice so you'll know it's from their perspective but generally if the camera follows them around you'll know that's their scene 
in a story, it's not as obvious sometimes. So you kind of have to make it obvious. And there were some people who, when they read Rise, they said that there were times when they had a hard time telling who was what scene. And so for the sequels, I've been considering actually um, putting the name at the beginning of each section so that they know that they've switched. And again, the majority of people didn't said they, the majority of my feedback from readers said they didn't have an issue with it. Either way, it means I have to jump around scenes. like this keyboard but it's not as quiet as it used to be um, which is the primary reason why I got it because people could hear me really making noise when I was playing games um, but the space bar has become through <laughs> through much 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 writing talking over 300,000 words at this point well 316,000 words plus other things I've been working on uh, it's definitely on its last it's, it's just about on its last legs so if the space bar and keys are a little bit loud I apologize um, I have tried to adjust the gain on the microphone so which is right it's not actually in the frame of sight I've tried to adjust sensitivity on the microphone so that it doesn't pick it up as much but it's impossible to eliminate it entirely without turning the mic off some changes times normal 12 24 yeah, that's indented some of these haven't been, haven't been adjusted to um, I haven't had their font adjusted in it, and I was make I was being a little more diligent about it, but I'm not going to worry about it for right now. But I do actually, yeah. See, Courier new, so this one's right. It's this one that's not right. Courier is much easier on the eyes for editors to read. Um, it tend it's a very popular font to publish in, so you fi you'll find it a lot. And you can see the difference between the two with Times New Roman and Courier New. So I like the Courier New better. mechanics on. I'll be hopping over and enjoying his stream here in a little bit. Let me get a little 
I gotta set up some of my commands, but uh, if you are a Twitch viewer during the day, uh, pretty much uh, five days a week, Game Mechanics on. He tends to stream. He has a variety of games he streams. When I first discovered him, he was doing a lot of uh, Civ Six. I don't know if he's doing that. I think it's Monday, so yeah, I think he is doing Civ Six today. something else that's uh, if you obviously you haven't had any chance to read anything prior to this um, the stranger that they're talking to um, he arrived at a location where they were expecting someone else and they don't know how he managed to arrive there when this other person was supposed to be there in this case it's a female uh, supposed to be there so they they don't know what's happening um, the bit of technology that they were using to accomplish what they were doing is brand new they invented it and it had never been tested on a human subject prior to that so and it was it was a combination of technology that they already had that they put together to make something much more powerful And this general, the general concept of this story is it will, their attempts to get her back le set, set in motion a series of events that end up putting p forces and powers in motion that they lose control of. And it ends up changing the, the I'm not going to say timeline, but the trajectory of where their world goes drastically.
there's another thing here. They, as I said, they invented this technology, and while they had had experience with variations on it uh, prior to this, what they what they were doing with this, they hadn't really tested on anything other than inanimate objects, and that left some doubt as to whether or not they were um, achieving the result that they were trying to achieve, because the device that they built uh, basically took what is known as a matter reforger, which was a device that took matter in, in some form, like a rock or water or a piece of clothing, and took that broke that thing down to its basic elements and then reforged it into something else. So you could take you could take rock and turn it into, into water. You could take water and turn it into a piece of clothing. Although in this world, uh, in the world that comes later, because this is this is kind of some backstory for for the rest of the story. The in the world that comes later, water is so precious that you wouldn't do that. But not it's, it's a different world they live in here and this technology is at this point new uh, so they don't really have like a wealth of experience to call upon while doing this so they're kind of having to write the instruction manual as they go why they were willing to take such a risk with something, with someone, um, is information that is revealed throughout the first two stories and at the beginning of this one. that the sergeant isn't actually with them to allow for because they haven't actually had that many, he wouldn't have not have had enough time to get down to the bottom of the citadel
that seems like a very good place to, to end that one. Let's get the next one set up. So I'm going to call it right there. I've been going for almost an hour. Uh, I would prefer to write a little bit longer, but the issues starting up have kind of drained me, and I have got, I have to get I have work I need to get to pay the bills and stuff. So that's going to be that for today. Uh, I will. The plan is to have one of these in the morning at, of at least 30 minutes um, each day of the week that I get up to work. So for sure, every Monday through Friday. Um, I'll be making some changes to the rest of the schedule. But for now, you can definitely count on me doing an early morning writing stream. Uh, thanks for watching, and be sure to uh, follow the channel. And we'll talk to you later.